Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Quick Flash. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, but this time, I am using 24 frames per second. Let's make it 5 seconds longer, because this is going to be a quick flash. Let's create a solid, for our background. You can make it in any color you want because we are going to apply a nice looking gradient on it. So let's do this. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the, for color gradient. Apply this effect on this solid layer, and let's make it beautiful. Change all color to dark blue color, I am making it darker as possible. Replace all color with this dark blue color. Now for the fourth color, you can pick any brighter color you want. Or even you can choose the color from your logo. I am going to use this nice orange color. Now, if you place this anchor point to the outside of the frame, you can achieve a nice looking background, with a light on it. I am not saying to make it the same as I am doing, you are free to choose any color you want. Cool. Our first step is complete, let's move to the next one. Now add your logo into the project. And place it above the background. Right click on it, and select pre-compose. Always pre-compose your logo, so that you can replace it anytime you want. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Cool. Now go to the 3 second, and then press R to open rotation. Add a keyframe on it. Now press S, to open scale, and add a keyframe on it as well. Switch back to the first frame, and change the scale value to a higher number, again press R, and change the rotation value to 50. Ram preview this, and now you have this kind of animation. Now, press U, to open keyframes, select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the graph curve to something like this. In case your graph doesn't look like this, right click here, and select, edit speed graph. Now switch back to the timeline, and play your animation. Cool. This looks good to me. Now go to effects and presets and search for the Vegas effect. Apply it on the logo comp. And let's adjust a few settings. First, change the blend mode to transparent. And change the segment value to 1. Now, open this image contours. And make sure to change the channel to value. Cool. Now we will use this length to animate our logo. If you check this random phase, you can see your stroke animation is animating more randomly. You can always change the color of your stroke from here. You can keep any color you want. I am going to choose this orange color, because it will match with my background. Let's change the end opacity to 0.2, so that it will cover up our entire logo. Perfect. Our settings are complete. Now let's move to the animation step. Go to the 3 seconds, and add a keyframe on the width and length. Go to the first frame and change the width value to 35. As you can see, it will give you a nice looking camera focus effect. Cool.
Again go to the first frame, and change the length to zero. Now press U, and make sure to place the width stroke to around 2 seconds. Now select all keyframes, and easy ease them. At the time of placing the width keyframe, I accidentally placed the first keyframe also, so I am going to add another keyframe here. Cool. The animation will look like this. Now select the logo layer, and press Ctrl, plus D, to make a duplicate. Place the bottom logo layer few frames to the right, so that they will have some dynamic movement. For this layer, I am going to change the color to the red. RAM preview this, and your animation will look like this. Let's make another copy of it, and place the bottom layer to the few frames right. Now, I am changing the color of this logo to the another shade of red. Let's try with the baby pink color. Cool, this is our animation until now. Let's make another copy of it, and change its color to blue. Cool. You are free to choose any color you want, you don't need to follow all my steps. Cool. This looks good to me. Now select all your logo layers, go to the effects, and search for the glow effect. Double click on it to apply on all selected layers, it will make your stroke glowing. Now again search for the CC radial fast blur effect, and apply this onto the layers also. Let's adjust a few settings. Let's try changing the zoom to brightest. And increase the amount to 75. I am going to use the standard zoom, because it looks more organic. Perfect, but it also made all layers blurry, and now focus effect is not visible. So, select the top layer, and make a duplicate of it. Turn off the radial blur for this layer, so that we can have the nice stroke applied on it. Also, I am going to change the color of its stroke as well, you are free to choose any color you want. Perfect, this looks good to me. Now, let's create a logo reveal effect. Make another copy of the logo comp, and delete all effects from this layer so that we can have our logo in our original color. Go to the 3 second, and press T, to open opacity. Add a keyframe on it. Go to the few frames backward, and change the opacity to 0%. It will create a fade in effect to our logo. Now select all bottom logo layers, and again press T. Click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe on it. Go to the few frames forward, and change the opacity value to 0%. Now you have this nice looking simple logo reveal effect. So let's make it attractive. Add this lens flare to the project, you can download it from the link in the description. Make sure to place this on top. Press T, to open opacity and go to the same frame of the logo reveal opacity keyframe. Now add a keyframe, and change the opacity to 0%. Go to few frames forward, and change the opacity value to 100%. Now again go to few frames forward, and change the value to 0%. Now you have this nice looking flare. Select all these keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. It will make the opacity animation smoother. Cool, you can place this lens flare center, to the edge of your logo. 
Now the final step. Add this light leak into the project. And place it on the top. Drag this layer to the right, so that it will appear with our logo reveal. Change the mode to screen, and do the same with the lens flare also. If you don't see your mode tab here, press F4 to switch between. Cool. Ramp preview this, and your animation will look like this. In my case, I am not happy with the light leak timing, so let's fix this. You can adjust the starting position, and the starting frame. If you don't like anything, just trim it out by selecting from the edge cool ramp review this and your animation is ready i'll see you on next week thanks for watching this tutorial have a nice day